The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, has confirmed the first severe case of bird flu in the United States, sparking concerns about the virus's potential impact. The H5N1 avian influenza, which has already caused widespread infection in birds, was detected in a Louisiana resident over 65 years old who is now hospitalized with severe respiratory illness. While the CDC reassures the public that the overall risk remains low, this case highlights the importance of understanding and addressing the outbreak. Today, we're taking a closer look into the bird flu, its risks, and the response to this unfolding health challenge. Understanding h 5 one Avian Influenza H5N1 avian influenza, commonly known as bird flu, is a highly contagious virus primarily affecting birds. It has caused significant outbreaks in poultry populations worldwide, leading to large-scale culling and economic losses in the agricultural sector. The virus is particularly dangerous because of its ability to spread rapidly among birds through contact with contaminated surfaces, water, and other infected birds. Though rare, human infections can occur, often resulting from direct exposure to infected poultry or contaminated environments. In humans, H5N1 presents a range of symptoms. Mild cases might resemble seasonal flu, with fever, cough, and muscle aches. However, severe cases can lead to respiratory distress, pneumonia, and even death. The virus's high mortality rate in human cases underscores the seriousness of these infections, despite the low transmission rates to people. Scientists are closely monitoring the virus for any mutations that might allow it to spread more easily among humans, which could escalate the threat to global public health. Understanding how H5N1 behaves and spreads is crucial for managing this outbreak effectively. Timeline of the outbreak in the United States the bird flu outbreak in the United States has been a growing concern throughout 2024, with initial cases detected among poultry populations in several states. Over time, the virus spread to commercial and backyard flocks, prompting swift action from the U.S. Department of Agriculture and state agencies to contain its reach. By mid-year, the virus had expanded its impact, affecting not just birds, but also livestock, including dairy cows, in a few regions. The first human cases in the U.S. emerged in April, with most individuals experiencing mild symptoms. These cases were primarily linked to individuals who had direct contact with infected poultry. The situation took a more serious turn with the recent confirmation of a severe case in Louisiana. The patient, an elderly individual with pre-existing health conditions, developed severe respiratory illness after suspected exposure to infected birds. This marks a significant development in the outbreak, as it is the first instance of a severe human infection in the U.S. The CDC continues to investigate the case and monitor for any further human infections, emphasizing the importance of vigilance and containment efforts. Public Health Response The response to the bird flu outbreak in the United States has involved coordinated efforts at federal, state, and local levels. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC has taken a leading role, focusing on monitoring the virus, investigating human cases, and providing guidance to mitigate risks. Since the confirmation of the first severe human case, the CDC has intensified its surveillance efforts, urging healthcare providers and laboratories to report any suspected cases promptly. At the state level, some governments have declared emergencies to address the outbreak more effectively. For instance, California has implemented stringent measures to curb the spread, including enhanced monitoring of poultry farms and restricting movement in affected areas. Additionally, the U.S. Department of Agriculture, USDA, has initiated testing of milk supplies in states with confirmed livestock infections to ensure food safety. Public health agencies are also emphasizing the need for protective measures among individuals who work with or handle birds, offering clear guidelines to reduce exposure risks. These collective actions aim to contain the outbreak while minimizing its impact on human health and the agricultural sector. Risk Assessment and Public Guidance Despite the detection of the first severe human case of bird flu in the United States, the CDC has reassured the public that the overall risk to the general population remains low, 
Human infections with H5N1 are still rare as the virus does not spread easily between people. Most human cases occur through direct contact with infected birds, contaminated surfaces, or environments where the virus is present. This distinction has been critical in guiding public messaging, helping to prevent unnecessary panic while emphasizing caution. Individuals who are in regular contact with birds, such as farmers, poultry workers, and bird enthusiasts, are being urged to follow specific safety measures. These include wearing protective equipment, thoroughly washing hands after handling birds, and avoiding contact with sick or dead birds. The CDC has also recommended that anyone exposed to potentially infected animals should monitor their health closely and seek medical attention if they develop flu-like symptoms. Public health agencies continue to stress the importance of reporting unusual bird deaths as early detection remains a key strategy for containing the virus. These preventive actions, combined with ongoing surveillance, are vital for minimizing the outbreak's impact on both public health and the economy. Economic and Agricultural Impact The bird flu outbreak has had far-reaching effects on the U.S. agricultural sector, particularly for poultry farmers. Large-scale culling of infected flocks has become necessary to prevent the virus's spread, leading to significant financial losses for farmers and disruptions in the poultry supply chain. This has also driven up prices for poultry products, affecting consumers and businesses alike. The economic toll is especially severe in regions where poultry farming is a primary industry, with some small-scale farmers struggling to recover. In addition to poultry, the virus has impacted dairy farmers in areas where livestock infections have been detected. Concerns over contamination have led to increased testing and stricter regulations, further straining resources. Government agencies, including the U.S. Department of Agriculture, have stepped in to provide financial support and compensation to affected farmers. However, the long-term effects of the outbreak on agricultural markets remain uncertain. The outbreak serves as a stark reminder of the interconnectedness of public health and economic stability, highlighting the need for robust biosecurity measures to protect both industries and livelihoods. Global Perspective The bird flu outbreak in the United States is part of a larger global challenge as H5N1 continues to affect multiple countries. In recent years, nations in Asia, Europe and Africa have reported significant outbreaks among birds, with some also recording human infections. The virus has proven particularly devastating in regions with high-density poultry farming, where containment efforts are more difficult and the economic impact is magnified. In countries like Vietnam and Egypt, past outbreaks have resulted in hundreds of human cases, often with high fatality rates. Lessons from these international experiences are shaping the response in the United States. Countries that have faced severe outbreaks have emphasized the importance of early detection, coordinated containment efforts, and public awareness campaigns. Global health organizations such as the World Health Organization and the Food and Agriculture Organization are playing a critical role in sharing information and best practices to manage the virus effectively. Collaborative efforts, including research on vaccines and antiviral treatments, are essential in addressing the outbreak on a global scale. The interconnected nature of agriculture and trade underscores the importance of viewing bird flu as an international public health priority. Future Outlook As the bird flu outbreak evolves, the future trajectory of the virus remains uncertain. One major concern among health experts is the potential for H5N1 to mutate in ways that could enable easier human-to-human -human transmission. Such a development would significantly heighten the public health risk and necessitate a global response on the scale of past pandemics. Ongoing genetic analysis of the virus is critical to identifying any changes that could signal an increased threat. Another key aspect of the future outlook is the development of vaccines and antiviral treatments. While vaccines for H5N1 exist, their availability and production capacity remain limited. Researchers are exploring ways to improve vaccine efficacy and ensure rapid distribution in the event of widespread human infections. In the meantime, public health strategies are focused on containment and prevention. 
strengthening biosecurity measures, expanding surveillance, and fostering collaboration between countries will be essential for mitigating the virus's impact. The outbreak serves as a reminder of the importance of preparedness and the need for sustained investment in global health security to address emerging infectious diseases. Scientific Research and Innovations The bird flu outbreak has accelerated scientific research aimed at understanding and combating the H5N1 virus. Researchers are focusing on the virus's genetic makeup to uncover how it infects hosts and spreads between species. This information is critical in predicting potential mutations that could increase its transmissibility or severity in humans. Advances in genomic sequencing have allowed scientists to monitor changes in the virus in real time, enabling quicker identification of new threats. In addition to genetic studies, vaccine development has taken center stage in the fight against H5N1. While several vaccines for poultry are in use, human vaccines remain a work in progress. Scientists are working on universal flu vaccines that could provide broader protection against various strains of influenza, including H5N1. These efforts are supported by innovations in mRNA vaccine technology, which proved effective during the COVID-19 pandemic and could be adapted for avian influenza. Another area of focus is the development of rapid diagnostic tools. Early detection is essential for containment, and new technologies are being tested to identify the virus in both humans and animals more efficiently. These innovations could significantly enhance the ability to respond to outbreaks before they escalate. Moreover, biosecurity measures are being refined, with researchers studying ways to improve containment practices in poultry farms and livestock facilities. These efforts aim to reduce the risk of animal-to-human transmission and limit the virus's spread among bird populations. The integration of scientific advancements with global collaboration offers hope in managing the bird flu outbreak. By investing in research and fostering partnerships across nations, the scientific community is laying the groundwork for more effective prevention and control measures in the future. These innovations not only address the current crisis, but also strengthen preparedness for emerging infectious diseases. Not it's time to hear from you. Are you nervous about this outbreak? Let us know in the comments section below.